For there shall arise false Christs and false prophets, and shall show great signs and wonders, insomuch that, if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. It's an AI making the decisions about us. So it takes power away from us. The third thing about AI that everybody needs to know, it's the first technology ever that can create new ideas. You know, the printing press, radio, television, they broadcast, they spread the ideas created by the human brain, by the human mind. They cannot create a new idea. You know, Gutenberg printed the Bible in the middle of the 15th century. The, the, the printing press printed as many copies of the Bible as Gutenberg instructed it, but it did not create a single new page. It had no ideas of its own about the Bible. Is it good? Is it bad? How to interpret this? How to interpret that? Um, AI can create new ideas, can even write a new Bible, can even write a new Bible. It is writing a new Bible. They are even holding church services by AI. No joke. It's here, folks. We, you know, throughout history, religions dreamt about having a book written by a superhuman intelligence, by a non-human entity. Every religion claims our book, all the other books of the other religions, they humans wrote them. But our book, no, 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 no. It came from some superhuman intelligence. In a few years, there might be religions that are actually correct. I sincerely and humbly pray with all my heart, soul, and strength that you understand the level of deception coming upon this earth and is already here. That just think about a religion whose holy book is written by an AI. That could be a reality in a few years. It's not a few years away. It's here. Around the world, they are already writing sermons and delivering the sermons. The actual preacher is an AI. They will worship the image of the beast. The mark of the beast is all about your worship. Do you understand? You know, um, when I was preparing this interview, I wrote down questions that I would like to ask you and then asked ChatGPT <laughs> to create 10 questions that it would like to ask you. And I've been doing this for a long time, okay? 25 years I've been doing this. And its questions were better than mine. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you. It was absolutely insane. And it took it five seconds, seven seconds to write it out. And I'm still using the first version. And when you <laughs> Talk about it being a baby. I'm like, that's a pretty scary baby we're yes. talking about here, right? Um, and and, and when, you, when you said it at, at the end, towards the end of your, your book, 21 Lessons for the 21st Century, when we have maybe decades, see some years left before, when we need to discover who we are yeah. before algorithms tell us who we are, how fast is that happening? And what does that process look like before humans normally are, are just going to go to an AI solution before they go to this solution. Notice that the Jesus solution is now off the table. You see where this is going? Again, I sincerely pray that you do. Jesus is the truth, the life, and the only way. Uh, it's, it's moving faster than I think almost anybody expected, faster than I expected, despite all my engagement with the field and what I wrote in Homo Deus and 21 Lessons, I'm still surprised by how fast uh, it is moving and how powerful the new generation of, of AI is. And actually the new generation is not out. It's, it's in the laboratories, but it's, it's already there. It's even much more powerful than, than chat GPT. Um, and I think that to have a fighting chance, we need time. And I said before, humans, we are organic beings. We move in cycles, we move on organic time. And we are the most, maybe the most adaptable animals on the planet, but adaptation itself requires time. And now we've reached a point when there is no time. And now we've reached a point when there is no time. And except that the Lord had shortened those days, no flesh should be saved. 
but for the elect's sake, whom he hath chosen, he hath shortened the days. And then if any man shall say to you, Lo, here is Christ, or lo, he is there, believe him not. For false Christs and false prophets shall rise, and shall show signs and wonders to seduce, if it were possible, even the elect. But take ye heed, behold, I have foretold you all things. Trust in the Lord Jesus Christ. Let no man deceive you, or AI, by any means. God bless each and every one of you. Peace and grace to you. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord, and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, 